everyone, this is Shayla Threefold News, and I'm here with Dr. Jen Wilter, <laughs> hey. former coach on the Cardinals, yes. and now you're doing women's national team. Yes, for Australian women's national oh, team, I'm yeah. their head coach. Yeah. How exciting is that? It's amazing. Were you um, shocked to get that call like, whoa, really? No, I've been over to Australia three times. Mm -hmm. uh, when they first started playing football a long time ago, then I went over last February. Uh, with my two Team USA coaches who I played for in yes. 2010. And we did their first trial and selections, had an ongoing relationship, went back this year, just in February, ended their second round. And they had wanted me to be their head coach. I just really wanted to make sure the situation was right and that my OC and DC were there with me because you know, those guys taught me so much about football yeah. and I, I just love them. And so the opportunity to reunite with them and fulfill a pledge that we all made together in 2010, which was um, to become ambassadors to the game internationally, uh, was really special to me. So it was pretty that awesome. That is awesome. I just feel empowered. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> you were awesome. Oh. Uh, let's take you back a few years when you were coaching with Cardinals. How did you feel that first day to get on the field and the guys are <laughs> humongous? And we went to training camp and we saw you. We were like, oh my gosh, she's so tiny. But they are really listening to her. <laughs> Well, you know, they didn't they didn't feel any bigger to me, mm -hmm. thankfully, because, you know, I had played a season in men's professional football. Yeah. So now the stakes were actually, though they were higher in profile, they were lower in pain, right? Because now they just have to listen. They don't get to tackle me anymore, yeah. right? So the stakes are higher but lower at the same time. But thankfully, I had learned a lot of those lessons um, from playing and then from coaching an arena. Yeah. And um, I wanted to really just be the same person with those guys. And what was amazing is that I think they w were almost better than I could have imagined. Wow. Because, you know, guys would say, man, coach, I watched your game film. You know, and you as know, athletes, yeah. yeah, as athletes, that's the ultimate sign mm -hmm. of respect. And they realized the struggle that I'd been through as a woman to get there oh, in football. Yeah. Right, and, and they would point out the significance. So I would give all the credit to how successful we were to number one, Bruce Arians, for being a man who was willing to stand up for what was right and to risk something so significant on a woman. We need yeah. more men like him. If every man thought like Bruce Arians was, or does, yeah. we would be so much further in our society. But then also the buy-in on every level on the team, you know, Michael Bidwell, Steve Kime, you know, all the big guys yeah. sent the right messages. All the coaches sent the right messages and those players were excited. They yeah. weren't just allowing it to happen, they embraced it. And in any moments when I doubted it or, or felt a little bit nervous, they were just so wonderful that any, any bit of nerves I might have had yeah. in myself, they just took them away. It's so great. Yeah, they're so great. And, and it feels like just yesterday, every single time I talk to them, and, and we have ongoing relationships to this day, you know. Um, like I saw Kevin Minter just the other day, and he was like, yeah, coach, blah, 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 and everybody was like, he still calls you coach. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and something that was so out of the box for so many people, we made so normal, yeah. and that's what's so special. That's awesome, just the respect that they showed you, and just your journey is insane. It's amazing. <laughs> it's such a blessing, and one thing is that we're here for Bruce Arians' event, and just in so many words, how much has he meant to you, and what did you learn from him the most when you were just working with this organization? Because he's just awesome. Uh, Bruce Arians is a man like none other. Um, like I said, he changed the game for every woman who loved football, yeah. and he changed it for me personally, and he bet on us, right? Everybody looks at how positive it was, right? And yeah. how, you know, there was no negative moment. You guys were there, you were in the media. If there had been one whiff of anything bad, you would have been the first ones to yeah. see it. And that moment never came. So sometimes people are like, oh, well, of course it was the right decision. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Do you realize, like, he bet everything on us. Yeah. And that takes a strong, brave, just outside the box man. And He's changed my life forever, and he's changed the lives of every woman who loves football. And he did that in such a 
normal, natural, easy, authentic way. Yeah. I have people ask me, like, is he really that cool? And I'm like, he is that guy. <laughs> I'm like, and he is that guy every single day. That guy that you hope he is, that guy that you wish you could know for five minutes or yeah. 500 years, he's that 100% through and through. And yeah. it's that authenticity that he has. It's that cut straight from whatever cloth you're from, right? tell you exactly what you need to hear whether you want it or not yeah. it's that man that makes him such a great leader and I knew within five minutes of talking to him that I would run through a wall for that man and he was a coach I would have killed to play for and yeah. it it just made me want to be a part of his world and to do whatever it was as a coach on his staff or um, a person in his life to support him in anything he does that's so awesome. We could just leave right now. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you. It's so great Anytime. to meet you. Seriously. Great to meet and you. Just, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Interview of the night. <laughs> this is Shayla with Threefold News.